City, Miss Jordan Wilson. Good morning, everyone. What is a phenomenal woman? Maya Angelou tells us she is one whose head is not bowed. Loretta A. Cole tells us she is one who is purposeful and passionate and is one who has imperfections but is phenomenal for what she does with them. Valedictorian of the 1978 graduating class of Roosevelt High School, a 1982 graduate of Harvard College who then in 1985 became a graduate of Harvard Law School. Former Gary City Court Judge from 1994 until her appointment as Indiana Attorney General in 2000. Founder of the Nat, oh, sorry, Second Chance Foundation and former Chief Executive Officer of the National Association of Drug Court Professionals. An active member of Delta Sigma Theta, The Links Incorporated, and Jack and Jill of America. Civil servant, woman, woman of God, daughter, wife, your mayor, my mother, citizens of Gary, I present to you, Karen Freeman Wilson. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Thank you for joining us for the first State of the City address during our administration. We are the sixth largest city in the state of Indiana with a census population reported to be 80,300, but an actual population closer to 85,000 between 20 10 and the year 2000, it is estimated that we lost over 20% of our total population. Our median household income is $27,000, $20,000 below the state median income, and our unemployment rate is 15.6%, and our rate of poverty is 34 percent. Our city budget is 47 million dollars and nearly 80 percent of that budget is devoted to police and fire with 75 percent of those costs being salaries. That is where we are. In fact, in 2011, the State Board of Accounts noted that the city of Gary cannot cut its way out of its budget deficit. It is important for the citizens of this community to recognize that we currently have a projected deficit of 10 to 15 million dollars. In fact, we are 43 million dollars in debt. <coughs> Now the good news, <laughs> and I'm sure that some of you are waiting for that other two <laughs> The good news is that this does not represent the beginning and end of where we are. Earlier, I talked about recent successes and robbery arrests. Under Chief Wade Ingram's leadership, we can also add to that fact that our murder rate has been reduced by 50% to date. Tomorrow, our tip line that will provide graduated rewards based on the seriousness of the crime reported will go live. If you phone in a tip, you will receive a number. And when that information results in an arrest, you will take that number to the bank and collect your reward. During the campaign, we vowed to create a streamlined function for those who sought to expand and or build businesses with the existence of the city. We are pleased to report that under Tom Collins and Forrest Hayes' leadership, the process is in place and through the use 
of the process created in the Economic Development Trust Corp and the Department of Commerce, we have almost completed a transaction that will net the city $1 million in cash and 20 acres of land. We are also on our way to completing another venture that will result in almost $5 million in annual revenue to the city of Garrett. Those are wins. We will not stop there. The city of Gary will be the first Lake County community of more than 30,000 to join the Ethics Advisory Commission. And just in case the training does not work, our team now understands if we become aware that something is not right, we call the feds. We do not wait for them to call us. In January, we created a new department of constituent services because we wanted to be more responsive to your needs. Under Mary Cossey's leadership, so what is the vision for Gary? How will we build on this early success? Earlier I told you about the meeting held on January 31st, 2012, engaging federal partners who want to help Gary. Earlier that same month, our team spoke with Indiana Senate leadership to discuss our prospects for economic development here in our city. Development plan that emphasizes how we will increase our own revenue by addressing fees that are substantially below industry standards, by collecting fees that have not been collected previously, we went with a plan to build on our transportation assets and by looking at business development that will increase our assessed valuation. We went with a clear set of priorities as well. The creation of land-based gaming on the 8094 corridor as a real estate development opportunity. The continued development of the airport to create a niche in charter, private, and domestic cargo service. The development of transportation-oriented development near 65 as a real estate development opportunity. The development of the Gary Public Transportation Corporation as a lead partner with the RBA to provide transportation opportunities for Gary and all other Northwest Indiana residents. We are here to assure you that we are paying attention and while Rome wasn't built in a day, we are working to build our version of Rome every day. In Gary, we have a team that can stay up all day. And I would submit that the citizens of Gary deserve a team that can stay up all day. I need to remind you that the Bulls did not win one championship until Michael Jordan got some help. I know that I don't have any silver bullets, and I know that I am by no means Michael Jordan, but I have been given a unique opportunity by God to organize a team and assemble resources to the benefit of this community. I consider this a gift and ask daily for God's guidance and discernment. that I will work every day to make this opportunity into the reality that makes Gary the next comeback story of the Rust Belt. Thank you. God bless Gary.
What do you think about the state of the city address? Um, I thought it was great. Uh, awesome. Uh, Karen has some awesome ideas, and I'm just very happy for her, and I'm very happy for the city. Um, the important part is that she met with the 13 uh, national or federal government representatives here in the end of January, and I hope everybody realizes how important that is. That, that probably doesn't happen too often on the state level, let alone at the city level.